The key to increasing your wealth lies in minimizing losses and optimizing your investment process. And there are two crucial components to achieving this, refining your strategy and managing your emotions. By improving these aspects simultaneously, you can maximize your profitability. Surrounding yourself with knowledgeable individuals who share insights and advice can further enhance your success. I aim to be that friend for you through these videos, offering guidance without any ulterior motives. Over the past year and four months, I've consistently recommended buying NVIDIA, resulting in an impressive gains of 397%. Last month alone, advising to buy NVIDIA led to a 97% increase since our last video. Trust in my recommendations and join me on this journey by subscribing and liking my content. Our mantra for 2024, amidst predictions of a bear market or a bull market, both will miss the mark this year. In 2024, success will hinge on stock selection with most gains driven by a select few mega capitalized companies. If you find yourself in those companies or sectors, you're poised for a good year. Notably, last year's significant gains were elusive for those who not invested in the Magnificent Seven. Spoiler alert, the artificial intelligence sector, particularly in semiconductors, is poised to lead the way in the stock market this year. If you are invested in this sector, or explore companies supporting it, significantly rewards could be in store for you in the year 2024. Another spoiler alert, NVIDIA is poised for further gains in the coming months. While this upward trajectory won't last indefinitely, I anticipate it to continue for approximately the next nine months, after which we may witness a downturn in the following year for NVIDIA, but enjoy the run while we have it now. Do not short into NVIDIA. Do not sell your positions in NVIDIA. On all pullbacks on NVIDIA, buy. NVIDIA late Monday previewed its next generation artificial intelligence computing platform, Blackwell, and highlighted how it's helping to infuse AI technology into industry spanning healthcare, manufacturing, and more. In a two hour keynote, presentation at the NVIDIA GTC 2024 conference in San Jose, California, Chief Executive Jensen Huang touted the enhanced capabilities of the Blackwell platform. Blackwell will allow organizations to build and run a real-time generative AI on a trillion perimeter large language models at up to 25 times less cost and energy consumption that is the predecessor, the Hooper platform. Blackwell can enable AI training inference for model scaling up to 10 trillion parameters. Plus, Blackwell graphics processor units, or GPUs, will deliver four times the AI training performance of Hooper and 30 times the inference performance. For three decades, we pursued accelerated computing with the goal of enabling transformative breakthroughs like deep learning and AI, Wang said in a news release. Generative AI is the finding technology of our time. Blackwell GPUs are the engine to power the new industrial revolution. Organizing platforms to adopt Blackwell include Amazon, Alphabets, Google, Meta Platforms, Microsoft, OpenAI, Oracle, and Tesla. Blackwell-based products will be available from NVIDIA's hardware partners starting later this year. Those partners include Cisco Systems, Dell Technologies, Hewlett-Packard Enterprise, and Supermicro computer. NVIDIA also announced its next generation AI supercomputer, the NVIDIA DGX Superpod powered by NVIDIA GB200, Grace Blackwell Superchips. It can run up to 576 Blackwell GPUs connected as one with upgraded NVIDIA NVLink interconnects. What's next after generative AI? At NVIDIA GTC, the company is talking about the next era after today's multi-model generative AI. One of the next phase will be the ability to combine AI systems and large language models from different providers. NVIDIA calls this phase a mixture of experts. Another wrinkle for AI is NVIDIA's Inference Microservices or NIMS. These microservices will allow developers to quickly create and deploy co-pilots or AI assistants using proprietary and custom models. NVIDIA launched a dozen of enterprise-grade generative AI microservices that businesses can use to make applications on their platform while retaining full ownership and control of their intellectual property. Among the first to access the new NVIDIA 
generative AI microservices are leading applications, data, and cybersecurity platforms providers. They include Adobe, Canis Design Systems, CrowdStrike, Getty Images, SAP, ServiceNow, and Shutterstock, the service of NIM. NIM microprocessor enables developers to reduce deployment times for AI services from weeks to minutes. They provide industry standard application programming inferences or APIs for domains such as languages, speech, and drug discovery to enable developers to quickly build AI applications using the proprietary data hosted securely in their own infrastructures. Customers will be able to access NIM microservices from Microsoft Azure AI, Google Kubernetes Engine, and Amazon SageMaker for the last year and three months. It's the same plan for NVIDIA. Buy on the dips. As we told you at the beginning of this video, this will not last forever. I am here for a good time, not a long time. Before we get started, disclaimer, the information provided on channels for educational and informational purposes only is not intended to be a substitute for professional financial advice. Protect your capital by all means. Build your own system and your own process. Stop losses in place. Our process starts with a three part. What is the overall market doing? What are the sectors doing? And what are the individual securities doing? The overall market in probabilities will be an up year. It will not be as good as last year, but it will be an up year. The sectors that are looking good are cryptocurrency, artificial intelligence, and semiconductors. The individual securities that are looking good are ARM, Bitcoin, Ethereum, NVIDIA, AMAT. Today's video will focus on NVIDIA. For right now, we are short-term bullish, intermediate-term bullish, and long-term bullish in NVIDIA. Just in our long-term portfolio, which we came out on January 18, 2023, we are up close to 400%. That means if you had subscribed and liked the video, and have done your own research, you would have been close up to these levels. This is not the time to short into NVIDIA. This is not the time to go against the trend. This is not the time to be a fundamentalist and look at PE ratios. This is the time to buy NVIDIA for the next six to nine months and watch where it goes. Just last month, we came out with a video around earnings period, and we told you to buy on the dips. We told you to buy on any pullbacks. We told you to get into it. Even if you timed it the worst, you are up 80% just by seeing one video and getting invested in NVIDIA. What has changed? Nothing for us. If you look at the chart of NVIDIA, there is a strong momentum to the upside. Will we have a pullback? Absolutely. But this pullback is good. Let's start from the beginning. What are we looking at? We are looking at the QQQs, which is in a growth phase. Check one, overall market. We are looking at the SMHs, the semiconductors, and they are in a growth phase. The top semiconductor right now, everyone's been talking about, euphoria is full, is NVIDIA in a growth phase. Let's run it through a few investment philosophies when buying. Are we in a bull market? Clearly, we are in a bull market. You could possibly say we are overbought in this bull market, but you cannot say that the QQQs, the spiders, the Dow, for the last year and three months, the last year and four months, is not in an uptrend. We avoid cheap tricks. I buy Porsches. I like Mercedes Benz. I am not a Hyundai guy. NVIDIA, it is expensive. NVIDIA has had a huge up run, but I am not looking for something cheap. I am looking for things hitting 52 week highs. I am looking for things with momentums. And then I believe I can see when it truly turns around and is a time to get out. As we predicted in 2022 on this channel, and we told you, sell everything, short Bitcoin. Yet in 2023, we told you, buy NVIDIA, buy Bitcoin. The period of time will come when we reverse and tell you, sell NVIDIA. But we are not there. Quote, we are not there. We are going higher. Many people will see this as overbought. I see this just as momentum. And if it pulls back, which it probably could, it's the time to buy. Are we prioritizing uptrends? There is nothing rising faster than NVIDIA and the artificial intelligence has been booming. Will we have stop losses in play? Absolutely, we're going to have stop losses in play. And the final thing, are we maintaining consistency? 
the strategy we use, we have been using way before I started this YouTube channel. It is over 100 indicators giving you a probability and weight of evidence. But if you just look at these factors over here, six factors, you can clearly see NVIDIA is on an uptrend and the probabilities will go higher. So what are we proclaiming today? March 20th, NVIDIA is in a powerful uptrend. Of course, we are a little extended. We will do further buying towards 800 to 825, just like we told you on February 19th with a video and January 23rd on the video. And all the way back in 2023, on January 18th of 2023, we are buying. Let's also look at the semiconductors, which we put into our long-term portfolio on January 23 of this year. And you can see the uptrend since we've had it from about 160 to 217. We've had a slight pullback and we will believe we'll go higher. Magnificent 7 is always a good thing to look at. NVIDIA is inside the Magnificent 7. But what are the other components in Magnificent 7? It's starting to see holes. As Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and Google all look positive, the problem is Apple and Tesla are in declining phases. And this is definitely a problem for the future. These are the first two holes in the falling of the Magnificent 7. And the Magnificent 7 will fall but it will fall next year. Why are we bullish short term? If you look at our proprietary indicator, or overbought, oversold, we are at 2117. Usually we get closer to zero when we buy, but thus saying that on such a powerful upswing, we don't get the zero number all the time. Sometimes we get 21, sometimes we get 14, sometimes we get eight, but on such a strong uptrend, we never get really, really oversold because people are buying. If you look at the medium term, the long term, and the ESIC swing with our short term at a good level, and it looks like our intermediate term and definitely the long term has worked off over bought levels to oversold. Remember, just because the price is hitting 52-week highs does not mean it's overbought. Mathematically speaking, historical speaking, it looks like because of the last few weeks, we've worked off the overbought signals. And I expect some news will come out that will drive this stock higher. Our overbought, oversold components last year worked very well. This year, it has been neutral a lot of times. Some years, the VIX and the VIX, the VIX and the VXN will work very well. Some years, overbought, oversold components will work very well. Some years, other strategies will work very well. But as of right now, our overbought, oversold components, which takes a composite of the S&P 500, the New York Stock Exchange, and the QQQ, are always at a period of neutral. Even though the CCI Commodity Channel Index is at a bearish level now, we believe it'll come down close to the zero level, pop off the zero level, and go back upwards. A lot of times on the CCI, if it can stay above the zero level of buyers or go a little bit below and then pop up that day, shows the strength of NVIDIA. Our journey on NVIDIA was one year, three months, four months ago. Nothing has changed from the one year other than the price is up 400% on the long term. And if you were trading it into medium term and also short term, the profits are even higher. But I'm just saying buy and hold and you made 400%. We are in a presidential year. Apple and Tesla are not performing well. Something must drive this market. Somebody's buying NVIDIA at these prices and it will go higher. When there is capitulation on NVIDIA, when there's capitulation in the market, then it will be time to short into NVIDIA, but it is not time right now. One month from now, I probably will come out with the same video I am telling you right now. I would probably say NVIDIA is at all time highs and buy on the pullbacks. You know the catchphrase, study it, analyze it, adapt it, peace.